Have you ever wondered how you can become more of a beta male? Maybe you're tired of all the empowerment, strength, and bravery that comes with being a regular man, or maybe even an alpha male, but you just don't know how to begin emasculating yourself. Or maybe you're already a beta male, but you want to become even more beta so you can completely wash all the possibility of privilege off your uncalloused hands so you don't have to worry about anybody judging you. Well, wonder no more because now you can crucify your masculinity easier than ever with these seven steps that'll make you more of a beta male. Victimize yourself. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. I love it. Always finding things to get offended about keeps your testicles from functioning, which simultaneously impregnates you with more beta energy. When someone makes a statement that has nothing to do with you, embody the weakest form of narcissism known to man by making it about you, and then activate your inner three-year-old to make your feelings hurt. Then blame the other person for how you made yourself feel. As a beta, you have to always creatively make what other people say about you because you're probably not important enough for them to be talking about in the first place. You get to feel more empowered the more you victimize yourself. Disempowering yourself and blaming someone else for it keeps you a weak, helpless victim, void of any self-responsibility. Whining, complaining, and being offended all the time is like the sports bra that holds your beta energy in place. Eat plant-based meat alternatives. Once in a while, you need to take a break from creating safe spaces, gossiping, and watching reality TV and provide some sustenance to your beta body. When you do, you should eat a lot of meat, and you should get all your meat from plant-based meat alternatives, because plants are the only type of meat that you're capable of hunting. Beyond Meat, Impossible Burger, Tofurky, Tofickin, to Yourself are all great beta choices for you. Eating pretend meat is the best thing for a pretend man to do, and because your Beyond Beta meat alternatives are mostly made out of soy, Plant estrogens will strengthen your ability to be even weaker, turning you into a full-fledged soy boy. Eating your soy meat is the food equivalent of routinely dipping your junk into a glass of ice water in order to shrink it even further, which is the right thing for beta males to do because testicles are genitalia hate speech toward ovaries. Focus on recovery. Feels like it helped. Instead of putting all your time and effort into focusing on exercise, which would just make you stronger, you should put all your time and effort into focusing on recovery, even though you have nothing to recover from. Only focusing on recovery is a way for you to avoid the pain and discomfort of exercise while you treat yourself like the fragile little doll that you are. It's also an effective way to trick yourself into thinking that you're doing something beneficial. Drinking tea with your legs crossed and leaving social justice warrior comments online as you hide behind your keyboard means you need to consider if cryotherapy, an infrared sauna, or an IV vitamin drip is going to be the best method to help you recover from your intense efforts. Because you're a beta, you're inherently afraid that everything in the world is out to get you. So your focus on recovery helps you rebound from the trauma of everything that you think is hurting you. The only exception to the all recovery and no exercise rule is you're allowed to play frisbee golf along with other activities that you call exercise that aren't exercise. Give other people control over your freedom of speech. When radical left Marxists demand a change to the English language, you should always obey their commands because obedience is your beta love language. Someone got their precious feelings hurt and isn't strong enough to have what's called emotional resiliency or their own sense of self. So out come the demands to restrict freedom of speech by taking away words that people can say. And you comply like the dutiful beta that you are. For example, instead of saying obese, you say person of size. It literally means the same thing. But because your life has no meaning, you don't think about the meaning as you obediently ask no questions. And you'll think you're contributing to a more inclusive world when you're compelled to call breastfeeding chest feeding because it's more inclusive to breastfeeding dads. But you don't realize this false inclusivity is based entirely on being uninclusive to free thought and free speech because your beta brain specializes in being told what to think rather than how to think. When you let other people control your speech, you should also spell your name with a lowercase first letter and capitalize the rest of the letters to show how beta you truly are. Select beta legwear. Now as a beta male, you've probably debated which is the best way of covering your legs and therefore your mangina. Shorts with a quarter inch inseam or mid-calf capris? Well, the answer 
is neither. To be the maximum amount of beta, you'll want to stop beating around your well-manicured bush and just wear a skirt. Pants are just an expression of toxic masculinity. Therefore, your lack of pants is the perfect expression of your lack of masculinity. Be a nice guy. Winning people's approval is always priority number one for you because you don't know how to validate yourself. You're needy of other people doing it for you, 24 seven. When someone states a perspective that you disagree with, instead of voicing your point of view, treat your own perspective like a doormat and focus on understanding how they could be right and how you've never thought of it that way before. You'll want to tell yourself you're doing it because you're open-minded, but really you're doing it because you're afraid of not getting the other person's approval. Always being weak-willed and agreeable is ideal because it helps reduce your testosterone levels and testosterone is kryptonite for beta males. Having what scientists refer to as a backbone can cause you to disagree with people when you don't agree with them. Disagreeing with people can cause them to withdraw their approval. And that can hurt your feelings. And you're not strong enough to deal with hurt because you're something better than strong. You're beta. As you practice always being agreeable when you're at dinner parties, after you state your pronouns, you might want to further apologize for your existence by also eating off the floor. Take beta baths. Instead of bathing by standing in the shower, you'll want to sit down to bathe in the bathtub. It's the bathing equivalent of sitting down to pee. But you knew that because that's what you already do. Not only do real men never take baths, but they also never read a book in the bath. So that's exactly what you should do. You'll also want to be sure to read your book by candlelight because candles are the weakest form of light known to man. Lastly, to make your beta bath even more beta, you want to add some kind of tranquility agent to the water, such as bath salts, lavender oil, or bubbles. This ensures that you're basically bathing in pure estrogen. With these seven steps, you're now fully disempowered to be the best beta male you can be. Instead of having to be inconveniently brave by stepping into your manhood, your relentless caution, sensitivity, and obedience will help you step further out of your manhood. Enjoy. Enjoy.